What's up guys, it's Jason with NintendoInquirer.com and today I'm excited because we finally have the collector's edition of the much anticipated Bravely Second End Layer in house today. I have been waiting for this game for quite some time. I was a big fan of Bravely Default even though it got a little slow near the end, but I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt. We're going to get this bad boy open. You might notice right off the bat that this collector's edition is huge and hiding right behind it. There it is, right there. You can see the standard collector's edition for Bravely Default that came out a few years ago. But look at the size difference between these two boxes. This thing is absolutely huge, and you're going to see why in just a few moments. There is an outstanding collector's book that's in here, his art from the game. I can't wait to get it open, but I'm going to wait for you. So we're going to do this together. We're going to take a look at the, the art book. We're going to take a look at the soundtrack and, and, of course, the game. And we'll compare it to what we had in the previous collector's edition. So let's do it. All right, so as we can see already, this thing's a beast. So we're going to get this thing open. I already cut the seal here at the top. And let's see what's inside. So here it is, the game itself, nothing too crazy. Um, Bravely Second End Layer and the CD. So this is the soundtrack to the game. Woo, there goes the game on the floor, that's fine. But here it is, the CD soundtrack. I'm gonna go and pick up the game. I'm so good at handling. Um, I'm guessing that these two things aren't going to be of huge importance to most of you. The soundtrack is cool. I don't know if anybody listens to CDs anymore anyway, but Square Enix has always included some sort of soundtrack with their collector's edition, so it's one thing that they've been doing consistently. And I think this is what's going to get most people excited. This is the Bravely Second End Layer art book. It comes with, obviously, the collector's edition. The thing that kind of upset me a bit, it's not hardcover, it's a softcover book. Um, it's still very cool, and it's very, very heavy. Um, I was actually surprised when the post office brought it by today, and the box was as heavy as it was. I was definitely anticipating a smaller art book, kind of like what they had included with the old collector's edition and Bravely Default, but let's get the cellophane off this bad boy. This thing is huge. It's mammoth, and the artwork is beautiful, full-page artwork from Bravely Seconds. Um, I'll give you guys a kind of a quick close-up of all of these pages. Not quite all, there's a lot. Let's see how many pages in total. There's 255 pages in this art book. So if you're looking for something cool for your coffee table, this is the book right here. Um, it looks like there's a slip cover here. So this does come off. I'll hang on to that though. And there's really neat artwork from Bravely Second right here on the other uh, insert as well. So very neat art book. But like I said before, let's compare this to what we had with the Bravely Default Collector's Edition. This is definitely, definitely more interesting. So this came with the CD soundtrack, just like this did. But let's compare the art books here. Let's see how big of a job or how big of a difference there are between these two art books. So here is the art book from Bravely Default. And here is the art book from Bravely Second. So I think they had a little bit more money in their artwork budget for these two. So very, very cool. But we'll end this video. We'll show you guys some close-ups of all of the stuff that comes in the collector's edition. You can't get it anymore. It looks like it's sold out, but we're going to keep an eye out. If for some reason, it does come back in stock. We'll let you know on our Twitter page. So follow us there, and we'll let you know if it comes back. That's it. Have a good one, guys.